And so, yeah, you'll notice the music has built up with intensity as we're actually listening to the battle music from Yulmore. But that's only because now we've reached the point where the people of Yulmore, as well as everyone who they kicked out, are now working together along with a whole bunch of other people who are on their way in order to try and somehow bring this down. That's where Vothri is, and we have to try and figure out how we're going to get to him. So hey there, Elizabeth, Miguel, Shima, Zero, and to everyone else that's just logging on, we're glad to have you with us here tonight. So, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here at Navarro Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers Live. And as you will also notice, through one main scenario roulette, it was enough experience points to put Shinji up to experience level 79. So, and now he needs to get over 37 and a half million points in order to get to experience level 70. Hey Lou, welcome to the stream, glad to have you with us. Yeah, well obviously of course we gain two side quests when we reach them and get another milestone, but first things first, we have a huge freaking golem to build. So let's go ahead and speak with Tristel to take on the level 78 main story quest entitled Meet the Tholes. Tristel knows people who may be able to assist in your search for ore. If you seek material for the Talos' Hoss, I may know people who might be able to work. They are the Tholes, a dwarven family that have long mined this land. No one knows this bounty as well as they. If you explain your situation, I'm sure they will be willing to cooperate. Indeed, t'was one of them that showed me the secret tunnel to the top of the cliff. You'll find the Thors at the village to the northwest, a place called Tongra. When you arrive, she's seek an audience with Chief Summit, and do not forget to greet with a hearty lally ho Permit me to join you, Shinji. I'll keep my joints limber, and mayhap I can provide some manner of assistance. Very well there, Exarch. I'll leave it to the two of you, then. The variety of the ore doesn't matter, so long as it's rich with ether. I'll aim to have my design complete by your return. Very well. Oh, am I still doing that? Anyway, we attuned to the Aetheroid and Tamra ahead of time last night. Yeah, for whatever reason, my mind is reading Stormblood numbers. I don't know why, but I'm, I must be losing my mind. Either I'm really tired or I'm starting to get really old. Hey, Axark. So this is Tomra. Indeed it is. And there are the dwarves in question. Seldom do we see the dwarven folk at the Crystallion, to now be in the presence of so many. I shall enjoy not having to crane my neck for a change. Why is that? I mean, essentially I'll still have to be doing so since you're going to be looking down, and hello there! Hello there, sir. Lally ho! Yeah, that's responding kind. <laughs> Lally ho! <laughs> what did you just call me? You're like, Lally ho? What? What sorry excuse for a greeting was that? Where's your hot lad? Your stones! Well, we are new here. Come, let's try it again! And so. Lally ho! Lally? <laughs> yeah. Go for it, Shinji. Lally ho! <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah, the XR cast to do it too. <laughs> like, I'm not accustomed to greeting in this way, but I'll try my best. Hmm, not bad, not bad. What does it mean for improvements? Honey Road, now that we've observed common courtesy, who are you, and what are you do? At the recommendation of the denizens of Amity, we have come to seek the aid of the Thor family. May we speak with Chief Zamot. Why, yes you may! I am Zamot, and I bid you welcome to Tomra! If it's the folk of Amity who sent you here, you must have quite a tale to tell. 
Come, let's hear it. Alright then. So, Chief, here's everything that we're doing and everything we may need from you in order for us, us to achieve what we need to. Well, well. And there I thought those below had no fight left in them. Hmm, having said that, it's not like we know how to deal with that floating volcano and all them seniors neither. If you're serious about restoring the peace to these parts, though, we'll gladly land you a hand. That's excellent. Glad to hear that. However, the kind of ore you seek is precious to us too. I'll let you have it for you. I'll let you have it only if you bungle things up to s and squander it. Like no amount of air will wash away my chagrin. First, I need to make sure you're worthy by means of a trial. Aye, a trial most tricksy passed down through the line of Thol. And what is this trial? <laughs> Come with me and I'll tell you all. Alright. Yeah, we're both looking at each other like, what? <laughs> Alright. Let's run over to where the chief is. It also looks like all the... People here have double T's at the end of their names. Hello there, sir. <laughs> Listen well. As you know, we're morning folk and in the morning life, dangerous are constant companion. So when we come of age, each of us must prove our readiness to take to the mines. This we do by undertaking a trial that tests the three traits all good miners cannot do without. Discernment, diligence, and dexterity. We call it 3D Mine Runner. <laughs> now, look on my helm. Mark its features well. You'll be given a slingshot, which you must use to shoot dwarves as wear helms what are different. I've already made the necessary arrangements. When you're ready to take to the trial, report to the observer nearby. Best of luck to you. Alright, so... Brown horns on a green... Um, helmet, a double feather, and a brown stripe down the middle. Alright. Where's the person we need to speak to? And all the way around the other side. Lally ho! You must be the challenger the chief mentioned. I'll show you to the rooftop at once. As I'm sure you've been told, in 3D Mind Runner, you use a slingshot to shoot them as to wear the wrong helmet. Let's begin with the sport of practice, eh? Alright. Okay, so looks like we have five different spots. Maybe even six. Okay, so yeah, I saw a different color over here. Now here's the question. What to keep moving. Come out so I can take a shot. Da 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 da. Yeah. Nice shooting! Keeping up in the actual trial, eh? Yeah, and also they were wearing a turban. Hi, that's the way! Next this time is the trial for true. Let me know when you're ready, eh? Alright, let's do this. Ready for the trial? Right this way then! This time there'll be them as wear the right helm. You shoot, you fail, so look carefully before you let the stone fly! I imagine there's gonna be a time limit on this too. Okay, that's correct. That's not correct. Well done, a fine show of discernment and dexterity! I only had to shoot one. Alright, bye bye me. Well done, well done. The child never lies, and you've got what it takes to be a miner. 
run back along to the chief now and get on with putting an end to all the strangeness of late. Alright. Alright, so Mark. That was some impressive shooting, lad. Consider me satisfied. Ah, it seems plain you didn't come this far with work alone, so I'll place my faith in you and help you find the all you seek. Awesome. So we'll take our experience skill plus some leggings. And this opens up a whole bunch of side quests now over here. But let's take a look at what we got. So we got the 74 with critical hit and direct hit rate against determination and direct hit rate. So we'll take a pass on that one. Okay, so... Yeah, let's see. Where should we go? Well, obviously we should prioritize the... Um, Ether current quest, but I'm gonna see if how many of these we can knock out for a little while. So yeah, why don't we go around and start speaking with the dwarves, starting with Riot and his quest entitled With Ale Do Respect. Riot seems eager to share the customs of Tamra. Lolly ho! Well, Dent my helm with the knocker's ass, we've got ourselves a visitor, a stranger from a strange land. If I'm to welcome you properly to Tomba, then I'd best be teaching you our ways, eh? And that starts with paying respects to the secret statue. I was about to say salute there. Ah, oh, you wouldn't know your eyes from your runnets, would you? The secret I'm referring to is one of our ancestral chiefs, the mightiest warrior in Thor history. You remember that name, lad. Now first things first, we need to prepare the offering. That involves you bringing me a couple of soul stones from them rock-headed gnomes out in Sui. Try not to get flattened, eh? Alright. And why would I want to do that, Shima? Okay, it's just going further left. Alright, so... I'm going to try and make this a two-hour stream again because I have another episode that's going to take two hours to render again. Because it'll be for the first dungeon in Shadowbringers, which was Holminster. Alright, here's what we're looking for. Put your way, there we go. Run over to one another gnome. Tamra. Well, no big deal there, Shima. Alright, let's take it back over to Riot. Hello there. Let's have the soul stones then. There you go. I'll just get my hammer out here and, uh, ever so delicately, grind these into powder. Yeah, really? And there we have it. Some lovely bottles of stone broom seasoned with a sprinkling of gnomish soul stone. It's the soul stone which puts the stone in the brew. I mean, how's he going to expect the statue to drink it? Now for the ceremony bit. You take these bottles and empty them onto the four sides of the secret statue over there. Every last drop, mind you. All right. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, it's a good thing we're not drinking it. Cause yeah, what would happen if you drank it? I mean, aside from getting a hangover, there'd probably be even worse side effects. Cause it's 
there's le legitimate stone in there. As you pour the stone brew onto the base of the statue, you almost believe you see a small flickering across its impassive face. I was anywhere, anywhere that could be a thing. But in any event, let's go ahead and check this one off the list. Hey, right, we're back. Ah, oh, nicely done, done, lad, nicely done. You may have noticed, but we thought it was like a drink or two, and seeing the great Sigurd statue unable to hoist the tankard on account from being a stone statue brings a tear to the eye. And so we honor his memory with the brew he loved best. He was chief of the Thor during the coming of the Flood, a true dwarf among dwarves. It was him what hosted that bastard roid of light and brought our people together in a time of division and death. Aye, we wouldn't be here now for more Zigget, and I thank you for showing him the proper respect. Glad we get out. Alright, now let's go ahead and speak with Zorat for his quest entitled, Brew as the Thor Do. Zorat is short and bearded and ready to brew. Lolly ho! Saint, ain't you that traveler everyone's been talking about? Uh, indeed I am. Well, Lolly ho again and welcome to Tomra. I'm going to treat you to some Thor hospitality and I'll not take no for an answer. First things first, we brew some dwarf and ale together. Aye, that'll be a lark. Now most folk make their ale from barley, but not us dwarves. We use seeds harvested from the magma grass what grows on the slopes of Mount Gold. Uh, easier said than done right now. Them weeds drink in the sea air from the moment their heads poke out of the dirt to the moment they wilt and die. Gives our grog a tangy flavor you won't never taste in any of that barley root stuff. Ugh. Interesting. So, let's give you the full experience, shall we? Head out on the village and pluck me four or so good sized magma blooms. They're crammed tight with seeds, don't you know? Alright. In fact, they're all to the south. Yeah. They're not in the direction of the mountain, thank goodness. Yeah, that place is a bit too dangerous to visit right now. Well, my body probably works like mom's also, because of the fact that I'm not getting much sleep either. But can you blame me? I mean, I'm playing this every day for you guys, and also on top of that, I'm editing the content that I've recorded. Which is why, like I said, after I'm done streaming tonight, I have to do two more, I have to let another long video render for two hours. Alright. Back to Tamara. And we'll go ahead and get this stuff to the roots. There you go. Well, did you pluck them blooms like I asked you? Brew them time's wasting. Don't worry, we got what you need. There you go. Alright, that's enough seeds to stuff my helm and then some. Good work. The next part of the process is a bit tricky, so let's leave that to an expert, which will be me. But just don't wander away just yet, my friend. There's more to our traditions than just picking sparkly flowers, and we're just getting started. Uh, why couldn't you be at the chain quest? Let's go ahead and speak with Zerud again to take on the next quest entitled Bringing the Nibbles. Zerud is, is poised to continue with his instruction of ale related customs. The seeds are almost set to ferment. What we need now is some tasty nibbles to complement the booze. What's that look for? A rude dwarf can't live on Grog alone, though for some it may for lack of trying. Anyhow, the traditional side dishes to a pint of dwarven ale is a nice big plate of dried iguana tails. Wizards don't just hand over their body parts, of course, so you'll have to go chop them off yourself. It's something of a custom to show off your best trophies and share them with your fellows come drinking time. A real bonding experience. You'll find iguanas and their tasty tails in the southeast of town. Two should be enough seeing them as skeleton are so bloody huge. Oh, did I not mention that? All good hunting! Alright.
I guess they just want to make sure that you're not starving. Yeah, and I guess just like the souls here, they don't want to starve either. Oh, wait for current. Yay. Yes, pick up the Aether Current. Please. Alright, down we go. So here they are. Yeah, I'm gonna stun you. Cause yeah. No doing that, please. Alright, you're dead. No, come over here to you. <coughs> yeah, load it up. Come back away so I can let you do this. One and two, and soon you will be through. There we go. Back over to his roots. Yeah, I imagine they must have plenty of leftovers as well. Oh, look at the size of the Megalin beauties. Once we set these out to dry, they're shrinking and enhance the flavor so you can enjoy the full lizardy goodness of every mouthful. And speaking of flavor, I've got the seeds steeped and sealed. For the next step, we can need to store the ale to be in brew house so it can ferment somewhere cool and dry. You're Fort? Oh, of course you are. Just roll this barrel over to the air wife and she'll be happy to give it a home. And right, let's take it across town. Here's the air wife. Hi! Got something for ya. Why oh, you even keep her else's pets here? Getting a first hand look at the brewing process, are you? Good for you, lad. There's no better in this life than making your own claw, eh? Uh, it's only ex experience. But trust me, lad, the more you have to work for it, the better it tastes. And the last stop painting here is grueling, I promise you. Go on with you then, I give my best to the roots. Alright. Back to the route. No trouble to find the brew house. Good, I say we're ready then. It's time to learn the most important part of brewing and drinking dwarven ale. So yeah, one more part to this. So let's go ahead and take on the quest entitled You Know the Words. Zroot wishes to share the most essential part of dwarven drinking tradition. Righto! A fresh batch of ale is brewing and there's nibbles ready to be nibbled. But I can't exactly ask you to stand there until the fermentation is done. That's the moon's way. What I want to do is educate you on the final points of dwarven drinking culture. Hi, a final lesson. Now here in Tomo, there are three keys for a successful drinking party. The first is a good drop of ale, and that goes without saying. The second is a table laid with tasty treats, and the last and most possibly important is a rocket's drinking song. Go on, lad, have a chat with some of the locals and don't come back till you learn the words to our favorite booze time ballad. Ah, uh, why is this turning into whose line is it anyway? Alright, let's run over to Grat first. <laughs> then even a troll next to him says I need a drink. Oh, drinking song? Oh, you didn't even bother learning the lyrics just as long as you remember the lally ho at the end. Well, if you say so. But he might not feel the same way. Hey, my gut. 
time for these tormentors been here in that ditty since they was children. You only need one dwarf to start singing and soon the whole village will join in. Ah, uh, there's no grander feeling than hoisting a mug and loud yelling your loudest lolly ho! And finally, Bamats. Hi, it's a Tomino drinking song. I don't want quite recall how it goes, but I do love it when we shout the lally ho all together. Apparently that's the only that's the only words to the song. Because yeah, it seems like no one else sells the words other than the lally ho. Hey, he only told you the bit with the lally ho. Well I suppose we've all had a few, the verses do get a bit muddled. Might as well as there's more than one version. After no matter which words you sing, when you get to that rousing lally ho, all your words just seem to melt away. Hi, you ever find your troubles bring you down? Then you come on back to Tomra. We'll soon lift your spirits with a nail in your hand and a lally ho on your lips. And so we'll take a belt. Well, that's all gonna get done anyway. Also, I could have sworn I opened this. Alright, so the belt is going to be critical hit. It's a critical hit and determination against determination and direct hit rate. And on the leggings, determination and skill speed against critical hit and direct hit rate. So, yeah, I'm going to have to pass on both of these. Alright, let's keep going. And sooner or later we'll get all these things taken down, so let's go ahead and speak with our gossipy dwarf to take on his quest entitled Word About Kamra. A new rumor has the dwarves of Kamra in a right tizzy. You heard the latest to drop rumor about Kamra? The strangest find in recent memory, though no actual details as to what said finding actually is yet to emerge. If you do happen to come into any juicy tidbits, I'll be keen to hear them. The suspense is killing me here. with a big sight watch, huh? I've only tried to make homemade chili once, but I ended up burning the beans really badly, and the chili itself tasted terrible. I, I would like to try and make chili again, but I, ne I need to do a better job of Making sure that I keep track of what I do, because, yeah, I was trying to, um, soak my beans first before I made my chili, which I did, but it didn't matter, I still burned them beyond belief and pretty much ruined the pot I was using. And we have to go across the bridge here in order to get where we need to go. Are you? Oh, that's that's mechanical. Huh. Yeah, why does that look? I was about to say, why does that look like a giant frog carrying a pickaxe? It's because it's an automaton. It's a frog-looking version of a Talos. And hey, if nothing else, this place gave me an excuse to go all the way to the opposite side, which I'll we'll probably have to come back to anyway in order to continue on with the proceedings. So after coming all the way over here, let's go ahead and speak with Watch. I can neither confirm nor deny the existence of a new discovery of untold value that only a select few are allowed to see for themselves. But said, there may come a time when I find myself utterly fascinated by that pile of rocks over there and will be completely oblivious to anyone attempting to sneak past. You're a man of the world, ain't you? Don't make me stay a plane. Wicked white, how bloody stupid are you? You, the imbecile, give me, the guard, 10,000 gil, then you, the imbecile, get to walk past me, the guard, and see the amazing find. Got it? Do we have to? Alright. Probably the only way I can do this. <laughs> about time you started playing by the rules. 
Well, I am new here. Lolly, what in the blazing hell do you think you're doing, man ho? Is that any way for God to behave, is it? Uh, no, she say, not sir, chief sir. No rations for you tonight. Chief, no mercy, mercy. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, give me my money back. It's not far, I tell you. A dwarf toils in day in and day out for a pity it's only to try and make a little something extra on the side and what does it get him? Fine run anyway. Bugger off, not my pass without the chief's permission, which I know you haven't got. But we can get it now. Wait, wait, don't tell me. I assume we came all this way to put him for the position? Sorry, but it's already been filled. Parted by the guy who was left. Or you know what they say about assumptions. Eh, don't go playing silly buggers with me. The queer ruins we found deep in the cavern through a tunnel over there. Full of all kinds of machina? To the point where we started cutting at a bloody machina graveyard? Yes, we were looking to hire on another guard, but since the possession's been filled by that fellow we tried to send you a moment ago. Say that luck, I'm afraid, but shit up lad, your time will come around again soon enough. Since you're here and still un unemployed, mind delivering a message for me? It's for two younglings in Kumbra, Anarch and Connor, sister and brother twins, part of wearing white and black. Printing, I suppose. The message is as follows. Lolly bleeding ho, this ain't no place for children to be messing about. Stay far, far, far away, or else. Got it? I see. Alright, let's go ahead and give the news. Yeah, just how far are we going? I probably didn't have to travel this far, did I? Um... Wait a minute. Oh, that's... Okay. I just realized what happened. Yeah, it turns out... Yeah. Not only do the dwarves have similar names, but so do the settlements. It's like, what's going on here? And then I realized, oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, these aren't dwarves, these are trolls. Yeah, these aren't dwarves, these are trolls. So, across the bridge again. Nothing else, we revealed more of the map. So, yay, I guess. Also, I've noticed that the um, number of points accumulated from revealing the map is consistent across all the levels. It doesn't accumulate like it used to. Or the number doesn't increase like it used to, depending on your experience level. Yeah, what a dirty trick. Alright, where are these two? Yeah, right over here. Trolls, I'm telling ya. And they're both wearing turbans. Hello there. Or Lolly Ho, I guess. Mm, you got business with us? I do, yes. Your father is mad at you. The chief put you up to this and you agreed? Haven't you got anything better to do with your time? Wait, those garments, that quiet confidence, those powerful neck muscles sculpted by a lifetime of nodding? <laughs> They're gonna whisper, This is that sin everyone's been talking about, sister. He's the garlic we've been waiting for. The perfect patsy. Oh, great. Good thinking, brother. Let's what get right to it then. And so, huh. you wouldn't happen to be that kind of stranger everyone likes and dolls. You are, aren't you? Perhaps he'd be willing to do us a teensy little favor. Of course he would. My brother and I are conducting some highly secret research at the moment, but we've hit a dead end. To continue, we need to get our hands on an automaton call. So do we be a passy? Yeah. 
Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, don't be silly. Everyone knows you're the soul of generosity. A sinner who cannot help but render aid to a fellow sinner in their hour of need. Not for fame and fortune, not for any other reward, but simply for the joy of it. Am I wrong? Yeah, this is another one of those ones where it really doesn't matter what I have to say. <laughs> like, oh, sod this. How rude! So rude! But despite your vehement refusal, deep down we both know you cannot help us by any of us in our endeavor. Tis your nature. We'll pretend that you agreed without a fuss and that'll be the end of it. The core we require is being stored with other sundry materials on the cliffs above us. Once you have it, bring it to my sister. Yeah. Not a fan of these two. And something tells me... Well, maybe not. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe this is one of those quests where I'm required to have flight before I can access it, but maybe not. Well, here it is. Yeah, you two are so lazy. Right, coming down. Here's your stupid core. Ah, there's the sinner now! And is that the core I spy in his hot little hands? Ah, brilliant! All we got to do is sell for us for a small fortune and we one step closer to seeing our plans for world domination to fruition! Like, really? Oh, I know! Lally nay on the domination ho! Is that your attempt at pig Latin? Oh, right, that was a close one, brother. Now then, for our next request. Really? Lolly, what in the hell are you two up to? Oh, if you've been thinking of taking advantage of this good sinner, I'll tap both your hands and toss you from the top of White Oil Falls. Now get you gone! Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, thanks for putting a stop to him. Sorry about that, they don't know any better on account of them being all on their own. No parents. They lost more than most you could say, more than anyone ever should. Anyway, I've been mean to ask, everyone says you're the soul of generosity, a sinner who cannot help but render to aid his fellow sinner in the hour of need, not for the fame of fortune or any other reward, but simply for the joy of it, am I wrong? Not you too. Yeah, I swear you just nearly repeated the word for word with those two, never mind. <coughs> We're short on a lantern at the dig site. Should be another in the cave just outside of the village. Mind going and fetching it for me? Of course you don't. Once you've got it, bring it back to me at the day. Oh, and don't worry, I'll see you compensated for your trouble. Right. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. The... The twins say it, and then he literally says the exact same thing, like it's no big deal. Yeah, back off. Back off. Alright, where is the lantern? But yeah, you get the feeling these people here are on one track mines. Okay. Where is this thing? Yeah, this is going to be pretty elusive. Let's say, yeah, can I jump in here? Because, yeah, play, usually places like this do not allow you to jump in. They have invisible plot walls. Hey. Okay. 
Yeah, that's very shocking to see that that was the place we could actually access. Alright, so back to the chief. There you are. I presume that lantern you're holding is for yours truly? Nope. Much obliged. Here, a little something for your trouble. Never let, let it never be said that the dwarf doesn't pay his debts. Anyway, if we have nothing else to discuss... Just let us pass already! We want to see the ruins! No, it's dangerous and off limits, and even if I were the sort of man who could be bribed, which I'm not, I'd be shocked if you two had anything valuable enough for me to risk my luck looking the other way. Why are you and everyone else so bloody obsessed with trying to get a look at the cavern filled with mysterious machina anyway? It's just a bloody scrap heap, isn't it? No, no, it's so much more! Based on our research, we have reason to believe that those ruins contain... Sister, how many times must I you nearly give the game away? It's supposed to be our secret! Oh yes, right, right. It's just so hard sometimes to contain my enthusiasm. Nothing. Uh, these ruins contain nothing of value whatsoever. We shall leave you to your affairs, honorable guard, sir, and bid thee farewell. They'll be back. Honestly, I'm beginning to hope that there's really nothing of value in there for all the trouble it's causing. What else do I have to say? If we've got nothing else to discuss, then you must be on our way. It's dangerous to wander about an active dick, and I don't want anyone getting hurt. Yeah. So I'll do this wild goose chase. I've never actually eaten a habanero. Yeah, we're stuck we're stuck in Canada like being stuck with jalapenos. Hooked on cold or did you? Don't anything about that big fine. It ain't even worth your trouble. A machine graveyard, eh? Interesting, interesting. This could be the beginning of a great and great adventure. Or well, an utterly nonsensical one. But does that have that appeal on its occasion? I'll allow. Alright, so what are we taking? Oh, yeah, but that's for a tank. O open the cord in blue, which we can take. Lemonade, that's for... Yeah, lemonade. Yeah, anyway, that's for heaters or for um, DPS um, mages and Jaltarko, which is healers, so we'll take the Ovum. Alright, so, yeah. We're, we're just getting started with scratching the surface on the side quest here, but we do still need to take care of one really important side quest. And that one is going to be back over in Gate Town. So we might as well get that up, taken care of right away.